what's happening guys i hope we're all doing good so today we are going to be finishing up the end of the bella bog story maybe doing a couple of the companion quests and seeing what happens next do we get access to a new planet do do we meet new people i've got no idea what is going to happen next so i'm excited to find out let's delve straight in you have visitors clara oh it's the variables love that nickname thank you sounds like a cool band name actually the variables uh another nickname for the collection there was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground mr Sparg said it must have been recalculating conclusion engine of creation 97.66 percent probability yeah that was fun but awesome old friend of yours the engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Oh, I mean, I will say it did do a pretty good job of punching Colia, so I would happily take one of them to go, please. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The underworld and the overworld will soon be reunited, which means that you, Sparag, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... We're utter legends, so you're welcome. But now, Mr. Sparag, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. Oh. One day... I'm going to go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Hmm. I know you will. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. Now let's go. Let's see. You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. Never. I would never. No way. I worked so After hard. <laughs> hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? The smell of freedom's in the air. <laughs> I smell it too. For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh... Return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Mm. Yeah, it will be weird. Would be very weird, I guess, if, like, you've never truly been... I mean, they have obviously been outdoors, but, like, up to the surface. It, it would be super weird. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. Oh, I have a feeling between like Bronya and Natasha, they're gonna create a great place to live. <laughs> I hope. Please don't I'm be angsty. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <sighs> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. If you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're ready, let's go home. Aww. Need a climbable? Yeah, let's Brothers, go. Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, he boys that from? and girls of all ages, gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart. Wahoo! Let's go! <laughs> Big blue ceiling. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. Oh. <laughs> so this is the overworld? Oh, wow. The air here smells different. This animation is gorgeous. <laughs> Less rust and geomara particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. 
The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned they it. They did earn it. Aww. Guards, formation. Whoa, this must be it. Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so proud. Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together, people of the underworld. Oh. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. <laughs> and the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. What a speech! Let's go, Bronya! I, Bronya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Bronya! Lady Bronya! Long live Bellabog! Good for you, Bronya. Bronya, we're back! March, Don Hung. You. And you. <laughs> Sorry. You that was hilarious. I love how I just was like, she's gonna say you. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for the for the main character though, because they just they never get addressed by their name. Obviously they can't, but like it's so funny that they're like they're like March Dunhung and you. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. <laughs> The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Are you fully recovered? Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. I was gonna ask about Zella, but I saw her, so I didn't really see the point. My mother... Still trying to wingman this. the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. Aww. 
part about preserving the seed of civilization was real. I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Yeah, not to put a, a big old thumbs down on the situation, but... Hmm. Allow me to explain. Yeah. Not the best. Telling Bronya about Welt's observations. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. No. <sighs> Stellarons are terrible things. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. Um, yeah, so Express will do everything within our power to help. I love how, like, I'm new to this group and, like, I just keep that making case, all these promises. <laughs> as a leader, I'm I like, must don't give you worry. a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. Aww. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Thanks, Brody. I'm Congrats. gonna miss you. That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. Worth celebrating, I'd say. On scale of 1 to 5, how would you rate this journey? Two and a half. <laughs> Two and a half? What? Oh my god. That run of the mill, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Um, time for a nap. Wait, what? No way. <laughs> We're about to leave and I've hardly got any decent photos. It's nap time. I'm tired. Come on. Let's go back to the administrative district and hang out for a bit longer. I bet I'll have a dream. You're overwhelmed by a sea of weariness. The engine of creation, Cocolia, an ethereal outer space, the gaze of the preservation. Your fragmented memory of the battle forms a blurry and surreal montage. In the midst of the frantic tapestry of events, you see the moment Cocolia perished with the Stellaron. A strange voice speaks to you in a hushed tone. But the voice passes rapidly. You try to recall what you saw in those fleeting moments, but you find no trace. All of a sudden, you hear it again. A female voice in your ear. At the end of your journey, <gasps> all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Ah. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? This is, whoa, well, that's weird. Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. Wait. <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. Oh my god, wait, is he not from this planet? Is he from somewhere else? No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> what fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Oh my god, is Sampo kind of evil? Wait. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sampo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. Is he breaking the fourth wall? To you, my dear <gasps> audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? Oh my god, I have fucking chills. What the hell? <gasps> you don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find <gasps> March and Don Hung. Oh my, 
what the hell? Dude, okay, I have so many questions. What the fuck? Morning. How did you sleep? I mean, I I'm knew Sampo was sus, but I dreamed about Sampo. You poor thing. I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. Who is he working for? I'm so curious now. What the hell? Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. The conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. Oh, leave your real six and return to the express. I'm sad. Priorities. What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? <sighs> of course not. I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Oh, no. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. I think I'm two minutes. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <sighs> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to... Look, Branya. <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here. Oh. Even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh. Welcome home, you three. I'm sad to be leaving, but... You know, I think I wing mine successfully, so... I'll come back for their wedding. <laughs> Himeko, Mr. Yang! Well, Team Trailblaze, back from duty! Yay. Mission one accomplished! Hell yeah! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. Thank you. I am pretty amazing. <laughs> Hell I'd yeah! Say it's a solid five stars. Oh my god! Five out of five or five out of ten? <laughs> Get some rest on the express. Your Relo 6 was not an easy ride. No, it wasn't. I'm very tired. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. Do love a good copper. I'll head back to my room then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. I think so too. He just expresses it in his own way. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. Not really. I'm just awesome, you know? <laughs> just can't help it. While you were away, Weld and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. I probably should. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, eh, I'm fine. Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. I love how Arlen's just on here now, Per. I can't wait. Arn of the Mundane. So... A civilian universe receives another update. The space station remains bustling with activity. This time, several prominent figures from the Genius Society have all arrived at the space station. We receive a message from her to inform you that Rune May has arrived. It's time to go and meet her. I think it is as well. I'm a little bit scared though, because Rune May was terrifying in that trailer. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> like, Rune May. A name that's both new and familiar. Oh, what? Why is it familiar? Well, I mean, I know why it's familiar to me. Why is it familiar to you? I thought member four, Poka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. You're back. <laughs> There's quite the crowd here today. Of course. This is a summit between three geniuses. 
it's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. This is very exciting. This is very exciting. I'm also a little bit nervous about it, but it's very exciting. Madame Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. I took her to see the portraits of the Society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she's happy. I heard Miss Ron May likes snacks Ron and pastries. Okay, so I asked it. the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seem to tickle her fancy. Mm. Would I be able to meet Ron May? Of course! Go find her yourself. She probably was <laughs> going to do some research Ew. as soon as she got here. Oh, she has flames in her hands. Wonderful. Miss Ron May is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life helix system. Ron May is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She lives like a hermit. Pity. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? Let's see if you can find her. I'll certainly try. Where is Run May right now? I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the master control zone and the railway platform. Maybe you can start your search there. I guess so. Alright, let's try and find her. Okay, let's see if she's up here. Oh, I think she and is. There's someone next to the railway platform. Dude. And could she be? I have a feeling we're on the right track. I'm gonna check the data when I get back. <gasps> oh! 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 What is happening? <laughs> Why were her fingers glowing? What? What just happened? Hello. I hope I didn't startle you. Okay, I mean, she does have the most incredible voice and her design is absolutely gorgeous, but why were you glowing me and massaging my neck? What happened? You did startle me a little bit, actually, yeah, you did. This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> that's not terrifying at all. <laughs> Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. Thank you. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. Okay. Um, there's a bit of cake on the corner of your mouth. <laughs> oh, really? I expect the views here had me lost in thought. I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Um... I want to try that, whatever that is. It sounds kind of delicious. Come here. Look, the blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Uh, no, I'm good. You don't like it? <sighs> I worked very hard on it. You should at least have a try. My, my... Str like, don't trust stranger senses are tingling right now. Delicious desserts remind <laughs> people of how flowers look when they bloom. Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. I hope you like it too. I know exactly who she's reminding me of. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> but she's reminding me of someone, and. <laughs> oh man. Let's just continue. You ate- I ate the snack anyway! Oh my god! Did you never learn? Do so, not take things from strangers! Think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. I'm quite delicious though. Mm, 
an outstanding dessert. 10 grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. You've clearly never seen Bake Off. <laughs> the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> There's a lot of panic in that show. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way, do you remember what my research is about? I've got absolutely no idea. Something about nurturing life forms? Is she no. the plants? My research area is short stories about toilets. What? What? What the fuck? Huh? What? What's going on? What, what am I talking about? I don't know. What did you... What did she do? <laughs> I see. What a cute hobby. Did you... <laughs> wait. Wait, what? But remember... The next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, you'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. She's so strange. What is going on? Is about is short stories about toilets. It's so weird. What is going on? Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? What did you do to me? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. What is going on? Ew! I hate it! <laughs> ah! Why can't I say what I want to say? Run! Run! <laughs> you have quite the appetite. Oh, no. All right. I'll give you the recipe. I hate it. Run! We need to leave. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. Oh my god. I know. I knew, I knew I didn't want to eat that goddamn dessert! There's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've ventured to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the great teal star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. And the process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult, but it was touching and enthralling as well. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please. Don't be on edge. I bear no ill. I'm on the edge. I'm I off the edge. With your I'm over the edge. Faculties. I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm down the side of the I wall. I merely made a minor adjustment. You know? What do you mean? A few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on Excuse our interactions me? within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. <laughs> Well, that is not a choice for you to make. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. So she drugged me. Yeah, I can see why people don't trust her. Yeah, that is not a great start. Um, <laughs> fuck. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. Depends how many. I will fulfill your every wish. Me. Well, are you going to give me a free temple? <laughs> Um, I'm still upset. Then I'll grant you even greater rewards. <sighs> when I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29, Circle. 
I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. Right. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, ah, I get to go find cute little I'm creatures. You can assist in recovering these little life forms. Yeah, I'm not giving them back to you though. Why don't you want them to know? This has nothing to do with them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. Mm hmm. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known so as not to cause undue disturbances. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. Mm -hmm. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Right, okay. It's so sad. I leave Bellabog for five minutes and I've, I've already been drugged with a truth serum. What? A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results i know you've got a place don't hide it from me why would anyone want to know that wait did someone send you here to try to get things out of me Give i'm him not the doing cake. any private business on the space station i have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places and i certainly haven't sold any old junk mm -hmm. rare treasures or discarded curios mm -hmm. or anything like that definitely a bit sus i didn't even ask <laughs> i'm not hiding anything at all you're the sneaky one. What do you want? <laughs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. Rune May is asking... Oh, I heard there's some problems on the space station. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. Mm, that's all I wanted. I just want to know where the little creatures are. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Where in the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. It says 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of Starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor from Madame Yu Ting Tu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking poisonous chair. Poisonous liquor. Cool. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? Oh, that's actually kind of horrible. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. Uh, of course you drink two bottles of Capo Cali in one go. Mm. We need to add some other good stuff in, yeah, but don't go overboard. I won't. Um, beauty. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait, it says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. The corner of Ron May's mouth twitches. Yikes. <laughs> Take a look at what you just cultivated. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. You gurged a copy of a five nut milk flavored life form. It's so cute. Oh my God, it's adorable. Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. Two, energize yourself, increase your capacity for action, and walk on the path of molten cheese tarts absolute conviction our creed molten cheese tart is the best it actually does sound pretty good as a cheese lover myself i agree who is molten cheese tart oh praise be you don't know molten oh, cheese tart is not an actual molten cheese top fan. Oh, okay. this is how it preaches those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for miss ronnie some molten cheese 
Well, what about Scrooliam's followers? Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Scrooliam's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. Oh. <laughs> Since you're so interested, oh, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the <laughs> honorable moat and cheese tart. <laughs> You'll need to work hard to get there. <laughs> this video is the best. The honorable moat and cheese tart. <laughs> oh my god, I love this dude's voice. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron may has been. If you're sincere enough, what is this quest? the honorable moat and cheese Cheese tart will show itself. Molten <laughs> cheese tart. Okay. Um. So this is the little life form Ron May made. So it's the molten cheese tart. <laughs> it is kind of cute. I love this one. <laughs> A researcher appears out of nowhere next to you. I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. What are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Activate the beacon? Okay. Wakaka! I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. It actually made my voice immediately deactivate. <laughs> that was way too risky. Thing. Oh, Molten Cheese Tot says Madame Ronmay has finally recognized my ingenuity. <laughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Does Madame Ronmay recognize me as a masterpiece? I don't uh, know. <laughs> Molten Cheese Tart says, Madame Ron May still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tart. <laughs> God's sake. There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madame Ron May. Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? <laughs> you should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of grey bean paste, would we? What is happening? Uh, I follow Molten Cheese Tart. Good! You have <laughs> great taste! You see, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against grey bean paste in terms of flavor. <laughs> right. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. Yes, okay. They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. How did Ruin May make desserts into life forms? You need to call it the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. <sighs> Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. <laughs> Despite Molten Cheese Tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? I hope not. Definitely not. Yeah, I hope not. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Bolton Cheese Tart, <laughs> love must be shouted from the rooftops. Can I talk alone with Molten Cheese Tart? You better. That depends if the Honorable Tart agrees to it. <laughs> that a toilet? You realize Romay's creation cannot be put in at all. <laughs> Innocent eyes wide. You don't have to explain to it that this has to be done in order to send it back to Romay's side. Confess, why are you stirring up trouble on the space station? <laughs> it seems to believe that only being passionate can it earn Romay's approval. It seems resentful for being unqualified life form. 
It seems eager to achieve great things. It wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and is inviting you to join in. You have to be firm, believing this is the best place for it. Tenderly activate the teleporter. We were amazed that the life form was ruthlessly flushed down the jod. It will be safely transported to the story zone. We've just flushed it down the toilet. You have to be joking. What the hell? You're here. Herta called Skrulam and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And now, I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. Right, okay. Why with me? I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters. Even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. I'm not really on your side though, because you've drugged me. Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pry too much and keep your expressions in check. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Let's go. I don't really have a choice, do I? Hmm. All right. Hi, Ronnie. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. It's good to see you, sir. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Oh my god, Skrulium playable when? He looks so dope. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Hmm. Bow politely. Yeah, I'm super smart too, guys. Don't even worry about it. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. Oh? You wish to kick Steven out? Oh, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have the chance to be involved in this decision-making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. Okay. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the... Answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar. We'll definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Okay, I love that we're getting to know, like, different Genius Society members. This is very exciting. Probability. Member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. What about you, Chingtu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Oh, so she's a member of the Genius Society as well? Can we ask him to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Of course! You brought him in after all. It's up to you. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. I see that you've recovered the life form in the Master Control Zone. Thank you. Well done. Isn't there some- is there something I shouldn't hear? No, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public, and now my headache is stored there. 
it's kind of sad that like these life forms that just want her love and attention she's referring to them as headaches that is kind of brutal so her gave you permission to use this place she gave me permission and said no more i'm giving you my access card give me your hand and i'll input your fingerprint into it stay vigilant assistant should you come across a threat you can't handle just alert me i'll come to your aid no matter what remember mm. there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone that's where my headache is stored once you're back come find me on the railway platform then you'll understand everything oh okay we're going deep into the space station <sighs> Oh, I think we've just entered dead space. Or oh, Bioshock, bloody hell. Oh. but this is kind of terrifying. Oh no. Loved that. That was fucking awesome. Wow. Okay, <laughs> did not expect this to verge into horror territory. Hello, sorry. Slight jump cut to another day. I Something came up in the middle of this quest, so I had to stop. And now we'll continue on a different day, but I wanted it all to be in the same video. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh my God. I was nearly like, ooh, really just taken out. Wow. This is super pretty. Oh, that's not as pretty. This is pretty though. Where are we? Going? Rune May, where have you sent me? What are you up to? What's that? You give the area below a scan. It's the most terrifying place in the entire seclusion zone, but you are not scared. Nothing can be more fearsome than yourself. Yes, you keep telling yourself that. Mm hmm. That is absolutely the confidence that will pull you through this area. Okay. Let me in. Oh, it's a lab. Okay. Oh, is that a big centrifuge? It could be, maybe. I don't know. It kind of looks like centrifuge, but not really. Hello? The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, sentimental, and sensitive. Yet are also fierce, instigating, demanding, and confident. Are these the little creatures that she created? Interestingly, they also possess a kind of inclination. A yearning for their creator. It manifests as a natural, inherent emotion. Similar to that of a baby towards its mother, life towards sustenance, or the peculiar bond between humans. Huh? What's that sound out there? That sound. Oh, so, oh wait, so like they kind of see Rue and May as their mother? Oh. Oh, oh, is it this? Oh. Oh my God. God, look how cute! Oh my god, I want one. Or I at least want a plushie. <laughs> so cute, I can't. This is the headache wrong they mentioned? How could you call them a headache? They're so cute. It's just a different flavor. I can't. Oh my gosh. It refers to itself as grey bean paste. Oh, are you hiding in the dessert? 
Oh, I can't. I can't. This all gray bean paste is so cute. Also, what a cute name for a cat. It claims to be connected with its shell. It looks deeply distressed. Cry profusely. Stop. Stop. Two things that can make me cry are sad babies and sad animals. They are the two things that get me every time. I can't with sad animals. It makes me sad. Like, please. Activate the synesthesia beacon. Oh, <laughs> I can't do this. I'm not one of Rame's recognized works. Much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. <laughs> it's still sad. Everyone, uh, you're a genius in your own way. <laughs> Rame! <Rose! laughs> Me when I watch the trailer. <laughs> I was like, ah! It seems to believe that emotional infectiousness is also quite genius. Oh, why? Why am I a failure? I actually, like, hate what Run May is, like, doing to these animals. It's actually making me really angry and, like, sad. You gaze at Run May's creation, which appears to still be waiting sadly for Run May to come and get it. A hint of compassion tugs at your what heart. What's that noise? Uh, follow me. It'll be okay. I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? I'll protect you. You can come along on the quest with us. It's going to be fine. Don't you worry. I'm going to adopt every single one of you. Do not worry about it. Oh, go. This is too adorable and sad at the same time. What is that? That. Ooh! <laughs> it's a good job that my brain went. That doesn't look right. Let's make it quick. How That'll take you? more than medicine. Mine? Oh, this is not a good time not to have Dr. Ratio with me. Ow. Ew. Oh, what the fuck, sake? How is that? The truth of life is cool, the sanctuary. It's but a vision. Oh, where's it? Oh, I'm trying to kill that one before it decides to make another one. Rules are made to be broken. Is there no place for us where you're going? Oh, wait, there's loads of them. I never imagined there'd be so many of them. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh, look, they go. You were here too? Yeah. Uh, seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. Oh, I just want to... Oh, oh, they're so cute. Oh, my goodness. The final days that member number 23, Acha, spent in the mechanical city showed me that even the longest of lives, such as hers, have a limit. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is... failure. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts, and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. But that is not what I desire. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Sandar. Have you ever felt this loss? Or resigned? She sounds genuinely quite distressed about it, actually. That she's failing and isn't really understanding what the meaning of life is. That's a very difficult thing to try and answer a question about, Are though. You t oh shit, that was- Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. 
Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers, and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. To avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Rem May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is... That is what? That is what you do. You must tell me. Read the record. The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor in affecting mood. Basking in starlight is proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Sounds fitting. Accommodate grey beam pace? Stay here for a bit. Oh, okay. Did something just open? The top of the, those stairs. Oh. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID, Buzz. So, Ron May's card. Permissions granted, Buzz. Select from the below services. One, check historical incubation records. Two, inorganic lifeform companionship chat service. Inorganic lifeform companionship chat this service? This function has been damaged. Oh, okay, check Is this. this? I thought of one lifeform that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is an emanator. What do you want with an emanator? I cannot comprehend what an emanator is. Scholars view them as the executors of the Eon's power. So when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the Eons than any other life form? Oh, it feels like she is treading in a, to a very dangerous area. At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Of course there would be. Hazy Ron. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe, obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants, replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. Imperator in Sectorum? Don't tell me she's the one that's made all these insects. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. Will Herta and Skrulum like this experiment? Most likely not. So she is doing Therefore, bad things. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing, I must hurry my work. As well as find a fitting assistant. Oh. Permission granted. Select from the below services. One, check visitor records. Oh, this is Two, bad. Open incubator entrance. Madam records? Ron May, alien species, man with plaster head. Buzz. Man with plaster head. That isn't ratio, is it? He he has like a head that he walks around with sometimes. This seems like there's something new. Open incubator granted. That sounds coming from above. This looks... Okay, this doesn't look good. This looks very ominous. Creepy side. Awesome. That's what I've always wanted. This whole time. I'm so glad. That... Wait. Huh. There's someone in the distance. There is someone in the distance. Who is that? Is that Ratio? Am I beating Ratio right now? Oh my god, what the fuck? This is so cool. Holy shit. Okay, I need to prepare myself. Oh my god, look. He's been like a member of my team since the beginning. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Here, a genius move. 
Oh my god. And how will you counter it? <sighs> Only an idiot would ask such a question. <gasps> Wait, he's playing against himself? Just Stop. Move this here. Hmm. You look distressed. I am in the Something inside. Something matter? Oh my god. <laughs> if that's the case, you better get thinking. <laughs> Are you waiting for a sign? Oh my god. Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. <laughs> I'm in love. Oh my god. I didn't think it was possible for me to love Ratio any more than I already do. And then he appeared in the game. Oh my god. Um, who are you? Have you considered the love of my life? The answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament. <laughs> it is. It's relevant to me. If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This was not my intended destination. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. Oh, I see. Okay. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. I see. So I have a feeling whatever Ruin May is, is, has created is down there. We're going to go and try to destroy it. And if we can't destroy it, he will, I think. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. I do like a person that just gets to the fucking point. Thank you for telling me that. I can't stand discourtesy, even when it comes from myself. It's all good. I can't stop staring at the gap. <laughs> I'm just staring at this gap. I can't, I can't help myself. <laughs> oh, I need to stop. The okay. real on May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. You're going to be helping me fight it. It's okay. <laughs> You're on my team. Go. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. I like the way that was in quotation marks. Oh, he's gone. I wanted to talk to him more. Oh, I'm so sad, but it's okay because he's permanently on my team, so it's fine. I'm so glad we got him free. I'm so glad. I'm glad I logged in in time to get him free. That would have been the biggest mistake I'd ever made. I, I so came back to this game at the right time. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh, we're moving forward. Oh, okay, that's it. Oh, oh, we're down here. Oh, no, I'm scared. Space station has an area this big. Oh, I'm a little bit scared. What the hell is going to be there? Oh, it's moist. Okay. Mm, don't like that. <clears throat> what did she create? Ew. That looks like honey. Oh, don't touch it. <sighs> <laughs> An emanator of propagation clone? How can that be? Oh. Need I teach someone a lesson? Oh, this is so sick. Oh, I'm now ready, baby. Stop thinking. Okay, good job. I've got the two things it's weak to, so that's good. That's better. Much better. Whoa. Okay, that was a sick attack move. When it multiplies the storm king release the swarm every time it gets attacked. Oh shit. Okay. Unfortunately, it went by a little bit too quick, so I didn't get to read what it said, but I think we just attacked this. Naughty child. Justin, just a little something. God, this means we don't. <laughs> Fuck, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. For detailed over. Uh, uh. Let's test your knowledge. 
zero points. Next. Okay, we'll save that. Better up. Nice. Oh, really? This thing does a lot of fucking damage. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I am no exception. Uh, rules are made to be broken! S.A.S. Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Naughty children? Nice. Don't favor the vigor of it. You won't get away! Fail! Get out! Nice. Combat is a series of precise machinations. Someone, come on. Zero points. Next. Okay. Ooh, no, Ryan, look out. Oh, God damn it. Fuck, that was terrifying. Okay, well. Never stop. Never mind the healing next turn. Oh no! God damn it! I was just getting stuck. You, you son of a bitch! Oh, oh god I damn it! No! It's gonna kill her! Fuck! I need to restart this. Yeah. I'm a SAS Start this fight. Leader of propagation clone? How can that be? Teach someone a lesson. Answer me. Free. Um. <laughs> Here. Naughty child. Thanks a lot. Oh, that was a good move. Let's make it quick. Time for a shot. Next time. Ow. <laughs> you! You're annoying! Try that again! Oh shit. Oh no, I think that's okay actually. Tough luck running into me! Okay. <laughs> Yes, knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. I'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Zero points. <laughs> just, a, just a little something. Oh, nothing else. Oh, thanks a lot. Your answers. Test. Free. Nice. Let's go. Bam. Okay. Zero points. Yes. Shield broken, let's wail. Ooh, this dude is tough, man. <laughs> That'll be next time. I'm asking. Uh. Time 
Nice shot. Alright, let's heal you. It's better. Much better. Rules are made to be broken. SAS knowledge. The measure This is of only the first round as well. Damn. I try hard sometimes. Okay. Watch this awesome move. My turn. Here. I'm asking questions. Test. Nice. Oh. Get it. Nice. Right. Phase right. two. Ah. Ah. Your answers. Okay. It's okay. Right. Just gotta keep going the same way. We need to put the phase two. Oh, okay. We're gonna do a heal now, actually. Just, just a little something. Don't take the risk. Let's go. Um. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Okay. That was horrifying. Can, I don't want it to pop them out every two minutes. Don't freaking think so. Oh, no, no. God damn, that was lucky. Oh, he's got another one! Fuck! Okay, okay, we're still doing okay. Let's not panic yet. Okay, she's got more heals back, that's good. Right, let's get rid of this one. It explodes and just damages. What the fuck? Why is it popping out so goddamn many? Okay, that's not good. Okay, we're well, right. Say yes, Pekibi. Yeah. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Hey, this is terrifying. Okay. <laughs> and also, you're gonna do this now. <laughs> just, just a little something. Nothing else. Much better. <laughs> Zero points. <laughs> That is horrifying! I'm made to be Why broken. is it just popping them out of nowhere? The hell was she thinking creating a fucking emanator? Time for a shot. Okay. It's not, it's time to heal. Not bad. Five points. Wonderful, this is good. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh my god, how freaking many! That's better. But I'm asking questions. This is not good. This is terrifying! It's just like popping all these moves out of its ass! Can it like stop, please? Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Tough luck running into me! Here! I bet again! Rules are made to be broken! Let's go. Oh, right. Get some heels down. My turn. <laughs> you. I'll try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Stop it! Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> this is horrifying. Your answers? Um. 
Actually... Told you I could fight. I think that was the right move to make, I think. It seems like the right move to have made. I should have probably done heals there. Okay, no, it's fine. We're okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> the water is so close. Oh, to be broken. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh. I did it. Oh my god, I did it! Oh, that is terrifying! Oh! Oh my god! After 56 seconds, the creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Wow. The threat is over. Time to get going. Holy shit. I, I need to get some answers out of Ronme. Yes, we goddamn do. What the fuck? What the hell was she doing, creating an emanator? Oh, I didn't even see this. The hell? You. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. What's important is you explain yourself, young lady. Old lady, I don't know who you are. You look upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. I made a clone, but it doesn't hold a candle to the emanator. It died on its own. Exactly as predicted. 56 seconds. On the dot. What is the point in even creating that? Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. <laughs> and it was a minuscule step, just as I had predicted. Are you gonna keep researching? Indeed, this is how I keep the distractions at bay. I have to admit that research once made me obsessive, that wasn't a good period in my life. Though now I navigate it much more smoothly, I must admit. I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. That's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. The pleasant surprise in this one wasn't you. It was Dr. Ratio. <laughs> if that is a shock. <laughs> I have to admit that these little ones born in the process sometimes move me. I should be with you all the time. Look how adorable they are. I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. They are still a long way from becoming geniuses and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot, at least. I do not understand what love is, and cannot respond to their feelings. Do you believe my actions were wrong? There is no need to tell me your answer. I just felt like asking the question. How should I take care of them? 
Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Do I seem irresponsible? I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Memory dissipate? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process, like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. I will. <laughs> Perhaps we'll meet again I don't someday, think I'll forget it any time soon. It was terrifying. You won't be able to connect me with the recollection. In that way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies. All will disappear. Well, there's someone that was also witness to all these events, so I don't think it'll quite disappear for everyone. It will make our lives more relaxing. I sure wish I'll forget you. Thank you. Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. Do you still remember the no man's land I mentioned? I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime. Just to see how things are. I miss member number 55 reaching too sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. I don't recognize the name. Is that a character that we haven't, like, that isn't playable? Or is that a character that'll be, like, up and coming for me? I'm presuming they'll come up at some point, but... I hope I won't meet member number four, Polka Kakamond. Yeah, people don't seem to like Polka. That would be quite troublesome. I would want to know who they are now. I'm very curious. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? I hope you'll come back and visit your creations. I promise I will, Mr. Assistant. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Though I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. Okay, so it seems like she... Oh, nice, okay. Oh, it's like she acknowledges and knows that she has done something wrong. But I think for the, in the name of science, I guess, she kind of felt that she had an, enough of, of an excuse to justify her actions in the name of science and like she wasn't sorry about it she's not gonna stop but she knows that she did something wrong what i find interesting is that she does have this kind of like lack of emotions i think and i'm not sure whether or not this is due to potential trauma in her past that she mentioned that she doesn't want to talk about or whether or not this is part of a personality trait i think that th there was a few things that she mentioned in there were, which to be fair do resonate with myself because i do have mild form of autism and some things that she mentioned were she was kind of asking like if the character looks angry and like confirming their emotions sometimes it can be really hard to read people's emotions from the way that they look so if someone looks angry 
you presume that they're angry, but you don't actually know if they are. Sometimes it's really hard to perceive emotion. And also about the obsessive traits, sometimes hyperfixation mm. is something that like I definitely know that I can get as well. So I did potentially see a couple of traits that could be presumed as autistic. And I know that if when people do have autism, it obviously it is a spectrum and it can come across in a lot of different ways but i wonder if that's the way that this character is supposed to be portrayed i don't know but if so it's, it's definitely a very interesting portrayal and i do want to know more about the character but i think there was this lack of responsibility that the character had for their actions and they you know aren't sorry about what they're doing there is this like lack of responsibility but also i mean even like she was saying that like even perta wouldn't like what she was what she was trying to do and she was kind of taking advantage of the situation oh hello it's about time we hit the road passengers thanks to the three trailblazers the activity of the fragmentum has reached the lowest level and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly and will be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Bye! Although I'm excited to see where we're going now. The Jean Lolu through the Shackling Prison. Hmm. Oh, oh shit, okay. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Yan Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. 